Anwa Defense Australia has chosen Saffron Electronics and Defense Australia to uh, integrate the Paseo Joint Fires Panoramic Targeting Site on the Australian Army's Redback Infantry Fighting Vehicles. I know that was a lot of words real quick, but no clarification, the Paseo system is really enhancing that survivability and lethality, providing advanced target acquisition and rec reconnaissance capabilities with 360 degree coverage. Day and night sensors, high rate scanning, uh, Saffron's Geonix, uh, inertial navigation system for accurate positioning in those GNSS denied environments. There's, there's a lot. And then Saffron is supporting the design integration and sustainability of the system in Australia, building on their five-year relationship with the Australian defense force. It's so this would so be the hold, weapon of the week, but it's going to be the thing that powers what could be the weapon of the week. Yes, that's correct. Yeah. <laughs> Brian, double or quits, buddy. It's your last chance. Uh, we're, we're talking here about Saffron hooking up to the Redback IFVs yep. with advanced targeting sites. There's a lot right on, on this one. What's the biggest challenge? You got one more shot. First off, just so our viewing audience knows, IFV is an infantry fighting vehicle. And so these are basically, you know, they look like we think a tank right like a var variations of tanks and we're looking at trying to put in a new targeting system into the existing ifvs so for me this means taking a look at what other systems does this targeting need to interact with you know the weapons that are going to use to shoot stuff with them are, are the, to target with them like how it gets the data how anything else, you know, what, what uses the day and night sensors, the high rate scanning, all the stuff that Andrew, that sorry, Greg listed off. How is that going to go into the existing systems and be put onto the plane, which means I'm or not the plane, we're on the ground, the tank. So we've got the integration into the existing systems, which means we've had to look at the requirements of what and spell those out specifically of what sort of data needs to be outputted, what needs to be read in. I'm just going to say integration to existing hardware. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. But here's where you really got to double down. The real challenge, I think, on this one is, is accurate targeting in GNSS denied environments. Um, when the GPS goes dark and, it, and it's going to happen, you still need these red backs hitting their targets accurately for both survivability and lethality. You can't afford to miss of course, in that environment. Um, so here's how I would solve it. You've got to look at one product validation uh, for the uh, GNSS, denied ops. We need to test that Paseo targeting site um, and the G Geonix inertial navigation system under the worst case scenarios, like for instance, battlefield conditions where GPS is knocked out, as I mentioned. It's all about making sure that the systems will function flawlessly and keep those IFVs lethal at all times. And then secondly, rigorous testing. We need to push those systems to their limits across different terrains, different climates and combat conditions to make sure that they deliver every single time. That's that for me. That's how you guarantee these redbacks stay effective and mission ready. And if they can't send all of that data to the weapons that they're supposed to shoot the targets, it won't work. So integration. Yeah.